Do you spend hours endlessly scrolling through Instagram reels trying to reverse engineer what goes viral? What if you could instantly scrape every top performing reels, captions, views, likes, and comments from any creator and then have AI transcribe and dissect each one to build you your next video strategy? Most people are afraid that AI will steal their jobs, but the real edge goes to those who harness it to uncover exactly what works. The CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, said this. Anybody who is concerned about AI taking their job should probably worry about someone who uses AI taking your job. Now, I am not a tech developer, nor am I an AI expert, but I was still able to create an AI automation that fills my Airtable dashboard with invaluable insight and statistics. This is something that I manually did that took hours. It now is automatically done in a matter of seconds. I'm going to link below the three tools that you'll need, which will be Appify, NNN and Airtable. And if you don't have NNN, click the link down below to get a 14 day free trial. Create an account. Once that's done, you're going to go to your dashboard and it's going to look something like this without all of these workflows. Just go ahead and create a new workflow by clicking this orange button right here. I want this workflow to run every Sunday at midnight. To do that, we're gonna hit the plus sign. We're looking for a scheduled trigger. Go ahead and hit that. The interval is set to days now. We're gonna set it to weeks every Sunday at midnight. I'm gonna change it to noon. The next thing you're gonna do, hit that link down below, create an account for Airtable, and don't worry, it's free. It's just like Google Sheets, but on steroids. Once you're in your dashboard, just hit create, click build an app on your own. You can title the base here, IG demo. I'm just gonna delete all this because I don't need it. And I'm gonna recreate the tabs. I'm sorry, I mean table. So the first table, the columns are gonna be the account, caption, date, views, likes, comments, video, transcript, and the analysis. So when you're creating these, when you hit the plus sign, you're gonna type in the type of column. So let's say you want numbers. Just type in numbers, select that, and then you would name it, all right? So for the first one, it's gonna be what we call a single line text. The second one will be long text. The date will be single line text. View count, likes, comments will all be numbers. The video will be a URL. The transcript will be long text, and the analysis will also be long text. For our next table, we're gonna have accounts, and that's pretty much it. I like to do three accounts. So for my test accounts, we're going to be researching some of my favorite IG accounts to follow. Now that I have that set up, we have to somehow link this Airtable to our NNN. So if you look at the top left, you see that I've named this Instagram Real Scraper and we have two tables. Click on the bottom left. You're going to go to Builder Hub. Then you're going to create a new token. Go ahead and title it, whatever. And then you're going to add some scopes. To get what scopes we need, so we're back in Edit and now. Let's go back to the canvas. We're going to hit the plus sign, type in Airtable, and we're going to select Search record and then what we're gonna do hit create new credential and then if you look down here where my mouse is we're gonna need data records read data records write and schema basis read so let's go back to our builder hub so we need data records read data records write and schema basis read then we're gonna add a base I just add all resources so you're linked up to all of your air tables but if you just want to add one just hit add a base and then just select the one that you're working on for my case it would be this one Instagram real analyzer so I just titled it go ahead and hit create token this should pop up make sure you copy it then you're gonna paste that here hit save it should go green it should be good to go now we're at this node you're gonna connect to that account which now has access to your air table so when you go down to base we're gonna go to from list and choose the air table that we're working on for this video it's gonna be instagram real analyze go ahead and select that from the table we're gonna go with table two the one with the accounts all right let's test this out now we have on the right side all the data from the air table but the only things that we do need are the accounts. So if we go over table view, you can see all three accounts right over here. So if you see here, we have three items, but we need to feed it one by one to our workflow. And how are we gonna do that? We need that with a loop node. We're gonna batch it over one by one. So we can go ahead and delete this because we're gonna replace it with what we call an HTTP request. We're gonna hit this plus sign, HTTP request, our stat. The next thing we have to do is create an account for Appify. Go to the link down below. If you wanna get $5 free credit that is replenished monthly, and to be honest, that is plenty. So if we're on Appify, create your account, hover over to the search bar and type in Instagram scraper post. So this is the one we're looking for, Instagram post scraper by Appify. Go ahead and hit that. We're gonna to go to try it for free. Now we're going to connect it to our NNN. So hover over to the top right, hit API, go down to endpoint, and you're going to look for run actor synchronously and get data set items. Go ahead and copy that. And this is set to post. So if we hover over back to our NNN, you'll be able to see right now the method is set to get. We're going to change it to post and then we're going to paste that link right over here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to send a body and then we're going to hover down to specify body and we're going to change that to using JSON. 
Now we're gonna hover back over to Appify and then we're gonna go exit out of this and we're gonna set what we want. I've put placeholder here where we need our Instagram username or profile URL. For now, we're gonna have it as placeholder and you'll know why in a second. I've set the maximum number of posts to scrape to 10, but you can increase the amount or decrease the amount. Totally up to you. And I only want posts that have been published within the last 30 days. So I'll set that here and you can leave everything else and you're gonna head over to JSON can enlarge it and basically just copy this head back over to your edit end and paste that into this box here now we're going to enlarge it make sure you hit expression first then we're going to enlarge it you remember when to put placeholder it's right here so let's go ahead and delete that because what we're going to do is now we're going to drag over accounts from our loop over items node so drag over accounts right in between the quotations and you see you have a variable here and on the right side you have the actual account name if it's looking like that for you you're doing the right thing let's move on now to test this step, just hit execute. Now our end, end is accessing Appify to scrape all of those Instagram accounts which after a couple seconds will be populated on the right side. So now you can see we have 10 items here. Now let's look at the type of data that we were able to pull from the Instagram pages. We have the captions, there's comments, which we don't need for now. We've got a like count. We got the timestamp of when this was posted. We've got the video URL, video view count and video play count, the video duration. So for our next step, we're gonna need video play count. So remember this, let's head back to canvas. Now we wanna sort by the video view count because we want the best performing videos. To do that, simple node, type in sort, very top one, leave it as simple. And we're gonna go with video view count right so look over to your left you can either type it in or drag it in but it is case sensitive so you want to make sure it matches exactly and if you're scrolling through this and it's a lot of data usually it's taken up by the comments so i usually just collapse that section and make sure you actually choose video play count not video view count drag that over to field name here and for the order we want descending because this will now set the most viewed at the top so let's test this step and one quick tip which i forgot to do forgot to pin this node so anytime you test future nodes it's gonna have to run through this again and again if you don't want that to happen you can go ahead and pin that especially since this is costing you credits so after i had to wait again this node is done we're gonna pin this data pin it and while we're at it let's go ahead and name this node so we're gonna name it scrape instagram then sort we can leave it as sort so now that is sorted by view play count so we have video play count and we have 16,000 here then we're going to go down 13,000. so we are descending in order right exactly what we want now let's say you don't want all 10 videos and you just want the top three. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the plus sign and you're gonna go with a limit node. Click the limit node and then for max items, we're gonna go with three. And then you're gonna just leave that and then let's go ahead and test this step. All right, so now we have the top three items. So we're having an issue. So I'm gonna go back and show you what's going on. So when I grabbed all the data, we have some data. Some Instagram accounts will have reels and carousel. So posts that aren't video. So they won't have a video play count. I'm gonna show you an example. So this one here for this reel, it does have a video play count. That's what we want, but some won't have it and it will say undefined. We wanna get rid of those. So let's go back to our canvas and we're gonna add a filter note. Type in filter and you're gonna go over to numbers and you hit exist. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna scroll while we're in our table view find video play count and just drag that over once you hit execute it should filter out the ones that aren't reels so we kept five and discarded five all right so now that step is fixed we can move on so once you've run the whole workflow again you should have the top three reels sorted by the highest view count to the lowest so we have 16,000 here 13,000 for the next one 12,000 here in descending order exactly how we want it now we want to somehow download that video. This part may sound complicated, but it's pretty easy. Let me show you why. HTTP request, right? Leave it as a get method because we're getting data. And you're going to go over to schema. We're going to look for a URL. Let's collapse this. We're going to look for a URL in our scraper Instagram node. And I'll show you which one. Let's collapse this video URL. So this is the one that we want. This will download the video. Everything is now here and we should be able to view everything. And if you look closely right here where my mouse is, you'll see that it's in video slash MP4. We want Want that in audio but first let me show you what we just did we just downloaded the videos now edit has access to the video so we do need a little bit of code and again i don't know how to code i'm not a developer we're going to use ai to do that so i headed over to claude so just to show you claude right claude.ai you just create an account it's free and this is how easy it is this is what i type create an nnn code node that will convert mime type from video slash mp4 to audio slash mp4 and all i did was copy this go back to our edit and hit the plus sign type in code node we're gonna delete this and then paste over the code that we want and you see here it's video slash mp4 in mime type let's execute that step and it should convert it all right here we go mime type audio 
MP4. And that took seconds. I have zero coding experience. I use Claude because its ability to code is a little bit better. But as you can imagine, this is so powerful. Just imagine the things you can do. All right, let's move on. So now we have everything in audio format, but to make it easier for our AI agent, we need to somehow transcribe that so we can feed all that text into our LLM. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to canvas. We're going to hit the plus sign and we're going to transcribe it. And what's really cool is that OpenAI has a built-in integration that will transcribe any audio for you. Right down here under audio actions, transcribe recording. Go ahead and connect your AI account. And to do that, go to create new credential, then you're gonna type in open AI API. Click API platform, log into the API platform. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. Then you're gonna hover to the gear icon on the top, right? You're gonna go over on the left side to billing and all you need to do is add about $5. I did this over six months ago and it's still lasting me today. I think I still have $3 in my account. It's plenty for what we're going to need it for. Then you're going to go over to API keys on the left side. You know, go to create new key, title it, whatever, hit create secret key, and then just copy that. Once you've copied that, you're going to go back to it and you're going to paste that key right here. It should go green and you should be good to go. Leave everything else. But the one thing you need to do is go to settings and go to continue using error output. And we're doing that because sometimes reels don't have any audio and we want the work to continue instead of stop when there's no audio so i just hit execute workflow let's head out of here all right now that it's done we have no errors so all the reels had some audio open it back up and you can see the text here this is the transcription now that's pretty cool but what's even better is that we can feed this into our ai agent ai agent but before we get into this let's do a little bit of housekeeping so what we're going to do i'm going to name these nodes so this one's going to be download real and then for our code node i'm going to name it to convert to audio then transcribe to transcribe audio then here we're going to name this ai agent to real analyzer okay so we're going to define below because we want to put in our custom prompt and this is where we're going to add in that transcription i'm going to type in this is the transcription colon the hit expression and we're going to just drag this text right over. The next thing we want to do is add a system prompt. So hit that. And now you want to hit expression, then go enlarge it. We're going to delete this. Then we're going to paste in our own prompt. So I did a ton of research, watching a lot of YouTube videos, reading a lot of articles. And this is the prompt that I created with the help of AI to help analyze these reels. I'm going to leave this in the description below. So if you want to make your own or if you want to copy mine and kind of customize it to your own liking, you can go ahead and do that. I'll leave that down in the description below. But basically what I said, you are a real strategist, AI, and an expert Instagram content analyst and creative director. His mission, when given the raw transcription of an Instagram reel, you must, number one, diagnose why the reel performed why it did number two extract the specific elements that likely drove high reach watch time saves shares or comments a bit of a framework that i wanted to use t-a-r t for what's trending a for the audience pain aspiration r for relatability a few more things and then a summarization for the key viral aspects it's going to recognize what the reel is doing good at, what it recommends for improvement, and we want to keep it brief. So I'll show an example of what the final product looks like at the end of this video. But again, you can go ahead and copy this. But this is going to mean nothing unless you add a brain. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we exit out of that, and we're going to go to chat model right here. And I like to go with OpenAI because we're already connected to it. Once you have this open, go ahead and connect to your account. And then for the model, you want the best model for our use case. And I'm going to go with 4.0 latest. So let's exit out of that, go back to canvas. Now, all we have to do is feed it into our Airtable. To do that, we're going to hit the plus sign here, type in Airtable, go to create a record, connect to that same account that we did earlier and go to base from list. And we're going to look for that same Airtable, Instagram real script. And now we're going to go to sheet one. You're just going to manually map everything, but we don't have any data here, but but I'm going to go back and pin this. I'm going to pin this one after we execute it. So let's execute that. All right, now that it's done, we're going to open this back up and we're going to pin this data. And you can see the output. We got all that information here. And it's going to look a lot better when we feed it into our Airtable. So let's open up Airtable. So for the account information, it's going to be located in um, the scrape Instagram node. So let's just collapse this one for now. Open this up. And you can look for the account. Let's collapse the comment. Owner, username. Go ahead and drag that over. Let's find the caption. Captions here. Let's just go ahead and drag that over. Now we're looking for the date. It's going to be titled timestamp right over here. And the view count. Remember, it's video play count right over there. The number of likes, comment count, the video URL right over there. The next thing we want is a transcription. Let's collapse this again. So the transcription node, drag over this text, and then we're going to add the output from our analyzer. 
and that's it. So we're back in Canvas again. We're going to look at our whole workflow. I'm going to move some things around so we can all see it in one frame. All right. So there we have our whole workflow. And before you run the whole thing, let's unpin everything again and let the whole thing run. And so if you want to execute the workflow and test the whole thing, you can. If you want to have it activated and actually trigger every week for you, just click activate right here. So go ahead and execute the trigger. So this is the result. I'm in my Instagram. I have the account name, the caption here, the view count, likes, comments, the video that we can actually see, the transcription, and then the analysis. So this is the analysis and I'll show you what we have. You know, performance drivers, you know, what it did good, some weak points, right? Some key viral aspects. So it is trending. It does have an audio pain or aspiration. It is relatable. The hook strength is good. Retention. There are retention drivers, but there's no call to action. There's no viral accelerators. And it has some recommendations on things you can do. And these are some recommendations on what you can steal for your next reel. So this is pretty cool. And if you want to change things up, you can just update your system prompt and reiterate however you want it. Now, if you want to learn how to build a website using natural language and connect it to the it in as a back end, check out this video. If you want to stay up to date on AI and automation and continue to improve your business or your personal life, click this and subscribe to my channel.